This video is sponsored by Manscaped. More on that later. This is the hardest challenge I've ever attempted, and the hardest challenge I believe is possible to attempt in vanilla Skyrim. Region locked to the island of Solstheim starting at level 1, under leveled by most enemies by 20, naked, without a dime to my name. Legendary difficulty, survival mode, and to raise the stakes a little bit, permadeath. Typically in my Without Leaving series, we cover a smaller portion of these games like Whiterun, Riften, Diamond City. We even tried it here on Solstheim, but the island is too large with too much content to provide that same experience. Instead, I elected to try something a bit different, giving myself three attempts to start from nothing, grind my way through the slow burn of progress, and pray the odds fall in my favor that I may learn enough to teach you a thing or two about surviving on the island of Solstheim. Given the circumstances that you've now docked on this island in a state clearly not fit to engage even that of an armless child in combat, you'll need to make use of some of the various activities around town to get some starting cash and food in your belly. Enjoy this part, because it's awfully serene, hanging around, socializing, trying to fit in with a society, and existing as an NPC just as squashable as any other. How am I already hungry? I, I, I just got freed from my shackles, I should not be hungry. The only thing I'm hungry for is success. We're on the grind. We're employed, self-employed, so we can't do anything to the alchemy lab. Uh, I think I should, I should be stealing these potions. These will come in handy. I will absolutely need potions. Let's chop wood until we just get a decent amount of stuff. Chop enough wood and, well, it won't be worth a whole lot, but it's a start to at least pay your rent, maybe get a bite to eat, get some crafting materials, but don't worry, there's certainly other avenues to keep yourself productive during these initial phases. If you've seen my channel before, you're probably familiar with most of them. Okay. All right, it's not stealing if we're starving, right? It's only punching up. Fishing rod, very nice. Cowhide, wolf pelt, beautiful. All launderable, 45 gold, baby. Okay, all right, we should be able to craft something. I don't know what we'll be able to craft, but we have leather, we have firewood. Okay, now that I'm fully clothed, people can stop commenting on my nudity. Is it just me or does the fishing kind of rock in this game? I like it. <laughs> I like the fishing. You know what? I'm saying it. I think Skyrim fishing rocks. Oh, we got it. Then Staggerman's Ring, resistance against fire, frost, and shock, improved by 20%. At the end of each hard day of labor, of course, with this being survival mode, you'll want to make sure to get a good night's rest. However, the island of Solstheim has a mechanic that's going to complicate things a little bit. Here in my shrine. What? That you have forgotten. Y'all see this shit? We should, like, talk about it, no? Here we reclaim what faithless minds have stolen. Awesome, I love falling asleep and accidentally joining a cult. Now there's lots of these shrines all around the map, so every time you go to sleep, cross your fingers and hope that this doesn't happen. Oh, Jesus, come on, can I not sleep normally here? Your eyes once were blind. Shh, shh, shh. Are they hassle? No, no! <gasps> uh, 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 I'm in another, I'm in another zip code! The beast stone, why? I don't, I don't want to be in your cult. Skull village nearby? Is there a skull village nearby? I don't know. I, I can't really look for it when fireballs are vroom. Genuinely, I think I might get one tapped here. <gasps> what the fuck is that? He's got aimbot. <gasps> I'm dead. I gotta get off the mountain. I gotta break the line of sight. Okay, I'm gonna start freezing really soon. I'm in the cold section of the map. <gasps> Wait, there's a village. The Skull Village, it's right across. I can see it on the map, thank you. This isn't a fucking joke, Tom. Get across the frozen lake now. Get to the village. These are your people from now on. Go, go, go. No, no! Fuck, 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 I gotta loot from him. Get around, get around. As long as, as, long as I can continue throwing geometry in front of the wolves. There we go, blocked. Suck geometry, wolves, I'm free, baby. Woo! 
All right. The Skull Village, or Santa's Village as I like to call it, lies on the eastern half of the island up north. It's really cold up here, so I don't recommend staying here long if you can avoid it, but as a satellite base, it's not entirely useless. Oh, he looks so cozy. Isn't that a cozy little outfit? Ice Wolf Pelt, you guys are just giving them away? I can harvest horker meat? They'll, they're gonna allow me to take salt piles? These people rock. I'm never going back to Raven Rock. Never, I don't need them. Who needs them? They have crafting, a smelter, a blacksmithing station. There's the cooking pot. Finally, my first real 1v1 combat encounter. There's gotta be a bed somewhere I can use here. Oh, did I kill one of your goats? I didn't know it was domesticated. I thought it was wild. Now I feel bad. This village is still a great access point for us to be able to go out into the wilderness, maybe do some hunting, do some sneaking. But I gotta be extremely careful. If we leave this village, one encounter, one wrong angle, the run is over. It's done. If it's just horkers out here, I mean, that's not disastrous. It's certainly not great. Friendly, boy, watch your belly flops. How am I cold? I'm bundled up to the tits. Everything looks relatively safe. It's too good to be true though. It probably is. I'm gonna take sneak. Reason being is it's the, oh no, are you kidding me? Are, are we really doing this? Are we doing this every time? Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. I'm at the same one, I'm at the beast. Okay, yeah, it took me back to the beast stone. You gotta be, shh. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, that was an embarrassing first run. I accomplished nothing aside from murdering a goat and finding George Costanza's Gore-Tex jacket. At least we still have two more tries and a few lessons we can apply on the next run. We learned where to sleep, where to fish, how we can make some early starting cash safely, but outside of that, we barely leveled up any skills and left ourselves in a completely useless state when the game decided it was time to start televangeloporting. That's a real word, look it up. If you attempt this challenge, you need to better optimize your first hour before the game shoots you into the wilderness. It's an absolutely crucial step that I overlooked in the two hours I spent with our poor friend Tom. Surely round two will go better, but before that, a quick thank you to today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Gamers, I know what you're thinking. Oh man, here we go. Another Manscaped ad that just makes a lot of balls jokes. But hey, I'm actually someone who has a beard and tries to take somewhat decent care of it. Manscaped was kind enough to support the channel and send over a Beard Hedger Pro Kit full of goodies like shampoo, beard conditioner, balm, oil, even a cute little comb. But the star of the show is the Beard Hedger Trimmer. Really been enjoying this one so far as I can adjust the length to make sure I'm not removing too much or too little, great for experimenting or always knowing I'm comfortable with my cut. All of this too with just one guard and a little zoom wheel so it's super convenient. It might be the star of the show, but the whole package encompasses basically everything you need to keep your beard in decent shape. Does it look better? Better or worse than before? Be honest. <laughs> Clean your beard, groom your beard, trim, and most importantly, brush. All in one really well presented and easy to store box. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit. If you're looking to streamline your next few months of beard care and help support more goofy adventures like this one, go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use my promo code JUVE at checkout. Bear Grylls is our survivalist this round and she's taken note on how Tom's journey went to efficiently address the shortfalls he suffered. No wasting time. It's off to the races from the get-go. We gotta be quick though because the first time we have to sleep we're getting teleported. All right, robbing the hotel is gonna get, ooh, cowhide. Great start. Two more cowhide. Oh my gosh. I told you, I'm taking this serious. I'm not getting done dirty like last time. That was bullshit. All right, we've all seen enough. Put on some clothes. Oh, you've seen enough? Are you kidding me? I mean, objectively, rockin' body. Here's your coin. There we go. What is he? 500? He pays 500 for the pendant. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's like, that's game changing money. 
and change the game it will. With 33 East Empire lockboxes and thus pendants in total, you're looking at a potential 16,500 gold if you find them all. And that's not including the additional loot alongside the pendants. Now, you definitely won't find them all right away, but the few that you can will give you a massive boost early on when the going's tough. The lockboxes, alongside cheesing some sneak XP from a guard who's more interested in winning the ongoing staring contest he's currently engaged in with his dinner than catching any criminals, are the big improvements to Bear's game plan as opposed to Tom's. Also an increased focus on quickly getting to any activities like fishing and wood chopping, as well as not taking sleep for granted anymore. Putting all this together will put you in a position where you're likely to start poking your head out of town and into danger, most notably to find a very important location in this run, the wonderful Mushroom Kingdom. I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna poke my head out of town, see if we can place a shot on any enemies. They're talking to themselves. He's a madman, kill him. What? Two times dead. He doesn't even have any. What? <laughs> a... Run, help. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is going to take a long time. Did he just go? He went to pick up a woodcutter's axe. You got to be kidding me. I'm going to die. What? 1,000 bounty? Do not shoot me, officer. I surrender. Please do not shoot. You've committed crimes against the Dunmer people of Solstheim. What is going on? What is that? <gasps> what the fuck is that? What's going on here, uh, sir? Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Joe, go, 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 go. He's on me. For the sake of immediate survivability, I'm taking light armor. Berserker Rage, toss it on. It's a right turn down the hill. Oh, look at these little cuties. You follow me. No, 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 not right now. I mean, we're now right back to where we were last time, but with significantly better. I forgot about the wolves. Oh, I forgot about the wolves. Rock joint. There's a wolf down there. Spriggan. Whoa, oh, chili. Okay, okay, we're, I'm only cold. Not bad. I really don't like being out here in no man's land, though. Oh, yep, that's why I don't like it. <laughs> See? I don't recall inviting you into my tower. I do hope you make this worth my while. Well, actually, the Mushroom Kingdom is worth your while. Conjuration spells are going to be an amazing way to keep enemies at a distance. If they're busy fighting something else, they can't kill you. However, in order to access these spells, there's an obstacle in your way. You've got to help me. I conjured an Ash Guardian, and now it's running amok. Your mess, man. You clean it up. I'm in no position to fight anything. Holy shit. Dude, dude, you can't just. OK, I got to get out of here. Oh, shit, I'm out of here. I cannot hit this thing. Oh, they're hitting. All right, we're getting some XP. I'm doing the most minimal damage possible on this guy. If he's going to stand right there the whole entire time, I'm going to take as much advantage as I can, and we will sit here and launch 116 arrows at him. I can't believe we just sat here and shot 160 arrows, and he's still alive. I have gotten pretty good at animation canceling. Ah! Those two wolves have almost killed us so many times. Oh, God, they made it here. I'm going with you. I'm going with her. I'm cowering in the corner. Come on, gang. You got this. Look at that ice wolf. Just tank hits. Should I get in there? Look at the goat getting in there. Hell yeah, goat. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good work, everybody. Fantastic job defending the village. I give you the honorary medal of honor. You two are helping out this village in a time of crisis. <laughs> the goat answered the call of duty. Look at all of them. They all fell. I hit it in the same spot. They all just bounced. Have you dealt with the Ash Guardian? Yeah. 
dumbass. Now you've got access to a ton of conjuration spells. You've likely picked up on a few safe routes to take between Santa's village and the Mushroom Kingdom should the need arise, and the combat style you'll want to employ, not a stealth archer, is starting to take shape. If you're looking for combat training and free loot, there's plenty of ash spawns out front of the city that the guards will help you take out. They spawn very frequently, and I'll give you a good idea later of just how often this happens. Maybe get a quest started while down here with this guy out front, check out the boat on the shore for a few easy kills and a lockbox. At this point, I'm feeling amazing. I'm confident, I feel better about traveling, I know what enemies to expect, I mean I'm even jumping into fights just to grab what XP I can. Dug it down. Zeroed. Access to spells and enchanting, a couple thousand gold to bankroll my adventure, it feels like I have a bit more space to explore the map without constantly having to look over my shoulder. Ah! God, it's close! This scared me! This jump scared the shit out of me! Oh no 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 no! No, no, no! How am I dying? Except you should look over your shoulder, constantly, because that's how quickly this happens. This entire run is like a checklist of items, enemies, weaknesses, and buffs, like you're slowly putting together a puzzle of abilities in order to best counter what you'll run into. Hear me out for a sec here. What just killed Bear? Burn Spriggan. Fire damage. What killed Tom? Cultist. Fire damage. How do the ash spawns fight from a distance? You guessed it, fire damage. If you can't counter or build up your survivability against the first enemies you'll find here, there's no point in prepping for the rest. Welcome Turkey Stick, our final contestant named for a snack that I went to go get while we awaited the carriage ride opening sequence on stream. Y'all, can I get a Turkey Stick sponsorship? Dark elves have a natural resistance to fire, so they have an advantage built in. There's also that ring we found earlier while fishing for another buff. We have several safe travel routes in our mind after a few sleep tele ports, we know where some early cash is in the form of lockboxes, and we know the playstyle we want to aim for. Turkey Stick is going to be our best shot. Ugh, the damage is still brutal. It is a lot more though than last time, so we'll be able to whittle it down. This is the run. I think that this is the run. Let me get the kill shot, come on. Yes! No, <laughs> no, he survived the kill shot. Got him. Got him. Clearly jumping forward a bit in this run, but the improvement in efficiency is clear. Day two and the Atronach is down. If you're able to find Heartstones, drop them off to Neloth and take part in his experiment. Becoming a lab rat will grant you a permanent plus 25 health boost, provided you avoid submerging yourself into water for this entire run. Now you may be thinking, all right, so this is where the run gets easy, right? Nope. Everything is still terrifying. Yeah, back up. Back up, I will not hesitate to fire. I shoot first and ask questions later. Ah! I actually, that's the that's the biggest jump scare I've ever had in this game, holy sh But if you've been paying close attention to class, you would have noticed what ended Bear's run quickly is now just a simple jump scare. What the fuck is that noise? What is that noise? Oh my God, does every, is, really? Is everyone up to the, is everyone at the party now? We're just sending out e-invites. Oh, he's really battling. Nope, it's, ah, it's over. Ah! God damn it! You, they, God, they don't give up! They're just right behind me at all times! I'm better than you. I'm more accurate than you. I'm more focused than you are. I'm stronger than you. I'm a straight line right into your forehead. Let me get the kill. You're not taking my kills. Soul captured! Let's go! Yes! We gotta play this like chess. We got one to our right, we got one directly behind us. He's probably gonna get another hit in on us. If I turn left, I can drag the Nyx Hounds through the bandit camp. Come on, townspeople, get out there. Some of you may perish. That's a price I'm willing to pay because I'll take your stuff and sell it. Got a red dot over here. Aren't spriggin' again? You know what, you son of a bitch? I'm so sick of your- Right down the main strip. Hey, everybody, I brought more action for you. <laughs> I mean, look at how this thing tanks. It, I don't even think it's done its first recharge yet. Okay, how many times is this clown gonna try and kill me? Ah! God! Why do we have to keep doing this? Okay, you did not spot me. You didn't spot me already. Stop. Whoa, look at that damage. Did I just kill an enemy in two shots? We just took out an enemy in two shots. Again, not the main character. That's me. That's missing. Oh, it hit! But let's just, let's just poke our heads in. How bad is it gonna be in here? Well, that was quick. 
Yeah, it's a thug, so they'll do more damage and have way more health. I'll take the archery XP. Shit! No, it's my no, get back here! Come on, you're a flying, prancing, dancing flame lady. Go kill him! I'm gonna need a little damage boost. Okay, you, this fucker. Ah, oh, shit, there. Whoa! One arrow? Really? One arrow. Almost half my health. That was a disaster. That was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. Watch my back. Babe, watch my back. <laughs> oh, man, now there's one of you dicks. Now there's three of you dicks? I'm out of here. Now that was the first two play sessions on Turkey Stick combined. Basically just following the blueprint from the previous two characters, but also achieving a respectable level of combat viability by combining defense, ranged attacks, and conjuring my own tanks to buy myself time. A lot of people suggested taking a follower like Teldrin along for the run, but I felt it went against the spirit of this challenge and would be a rather cowardly cop-out for what's already a cowardly not stealth archer moveset. Right now, Turkey Stick is about 7 hours into his journey, heading into day 9. Because of our increased efficiency, Turkey Stick is sitting at level 15 with archery hovering in the 50s. Again, you can't get too confident yet because some of the enemies are still… Look how much health these guys have. Look at that. That's a sneak attack. Absolute tanks. Your main goal at this point should be to address this damage shortfall you have while raising your defense at the same time. I didn't include it at all, but enchanting is an important skill to get rolling, so disenchant when you can, capture souls when it's safe to, and keep slowly and patiently trying to clear off locations on the southern half of the map. Or as it started to be commonly referred to on stream, No Man's Land. The brown, dusty, filled with danger landscape between Raven Rock and the Mushroom Kingdom. Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! What? What does that mean? I'm stuck! Oh, right, right. <laughs> oh, great. Now there's four. I mean, fellas, I like the XP, but I can't be- okay, I can't be taken on that many at one time. Oh, that was quick! Boys, 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 gentlemen! Until you have a few specific perks, taking on larger groups will be overwhelming, but don't worry, you can always just kite them back to town for an impromptu community murder session. Out of magic. That's my last round of it. Gotta watch this one to my left. Yeah, this one's aggroed on me. I did all I could before bringing them all the way back to town. I tried, I really did. Come on, don't get, don't get cold feet now. Get down here and face me and 15 other people like men. Yo, what are you doing? Why are you cowering? Everyone get up there, fight. Oh, this asshole over here. Stay down. Got it. All right, we got one soul out of it, so I'm at least Satisfied, sort of. Here are the perks you'll want. All archery perks, just get them all. It's one of the most popular ways of playing Skyrim for a reason. Although my personal favorite is this perk that makes you fire off arrows like a Gatling gun. In the Conjuration Tree, any upgrades to cast higher level spells at a reduced cost, and this perk, Mystic Binding, which makes bound weapons hit even harder. You see, I never knew this until this run. I know I'm supposed to be an expert on this game, or it's supposed to be my job, but I still am learning about it every day. You see, summoned weapons already share the same stats as Daedric weapons, so they're powerful as is. Combine that with the perks, maybe a sneak attack and some tankier summons, and the light at the end of the tunnel starts to shine through. No longer will you receive a quest from an NPC and have to ignore it in favor of your ongoing training arc. You're officially on the board. A player in this game. Yeah, Frost at your neck is adept. Bound Bow also adept? Oh my god, it's such a massive upgrade in damage. I'm so happy right now. Frosty, what are you doing, Frosty? Frosty, you can't run. Are you seriously running away right now? I hired you for a reason, idiot. This is awesome. We're finally starting to deal damage. Oh, that was so satisfying. Just mwah. these they haven't despawned once there's so many of them this is how many times this encounter has spawned in all right we gotta be careful here okay they still have low health from the last fight kill cam oh man come on no don't steal my kill how how he's getting behind cover you know what i'm gonna find in here i'm calling it right now we're about to find meridia's beacon
another necklace of 30% fire resistance. We're almost invincible to fire. I, 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 I can bathe in lava. Usha. Sorry, Usha. I'm claiming this bed for my own. Get off. Get off. <laughs> I feel bad now. What the fuck is that? Go, 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 go. Werewolves. Nobody told me there's werewolves here. There we go. Ah. Ah. Uh, goblins. I forgot that they were here. Oh, they are shit. What's up, goblins? This is your best? This is why you lost at Mordor. Do you have the gold? Do I have the gold? Come on. Mm. It's all here. Yeah, I'm one of the richest investors in all of Raven Rock. It only took me like, yeah, 19 days. It took me three weeks. That is a lot of bandits. Oof. Okay, this could be tough. Oh, wait, they forgave me? But they, they didn't forgive Rocky. No, Rocky. Maybe these, those might be good people. Oh, they're friendly. Well, it seems like they forgave me, but they need to kill my rogue Rocky. Sorry, sorry, everybody. I, I, I it was a misunderstanding there, folks. Why don't we start over? New blood should be enough to rouse these layabouts to actually fight again. Yeah, that sounds fun. I love killing goblins. Although, well, I don't think I want to kill them. If I have to choose between these jamokes and the goblins, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the goblin side. Oh, wait. Oh, we can't help the goblins anymore. <laughs> I didn't want to murder the goblins. I feel bad about this. I think it might be too dangerous for me to try and betray them now. What was that? What was that? What do you think it is? What do you think we're here to fight? Charge, men. We must take back our booze. I'm tired of living in South Wisconsin. See, now I feel bad. Come on, guys. This. Sorry, buddy. May you rest in peace. Ew. Look. Ugh. He's. They're not really cute. If they. If they were more cute, maybe I would feel a little bit less bad. I'm sorry, goblin friends. I wanted to be cool with you. I just have no choice. I made a mistake. I feel like we might lose this battle. Oh, this is just mass murder. That's right, Rakelings. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to colonization. You proud of yourselves? Huh? That was almost exhilarating. How are you feeling? I feel terrible. We just we just executed an entire society. Oh, I feel so bad, but I do get to sit in this cool. Th I can't sit in the throne. We just decided to genocide the goblins and I can't even sit in the throne. No throne, no problem. If you follow the quest chain that starts right when you get into Raven Rock, eventually it'll lead you to owning some property. The only problem is that some really tough fights are blocking your path. I'm gonna go give General Fox Carrius a run for his money. Anybody who has watched any portion of this run is going to probably be saying to themselves, you're an idiot. Why would you take him on so early? And to that I say, not bad. I don't think so. Roll up our tank. Okay, that was quick. He's already down. Out of magic already. We'll come back to this fight later. It would be nice if I had them all out here. I think I could probably win the fight. Welcome to another relaxing fishing stream. I'm your host, Turkey Stick. And these are the soothing sounds of an ash storm playing over you as you slowly cast your line. Watch the ripples in the water as they occasionally white cap as the glimmer of an arctic grayling's scale. All right, here we go. Let's get them in this room as soon as possible. This is great, this is great. We want him first. There you go, there you go, push it, push it. Come on, buddy, come on, Rocky. You got this, Rocky, keep him stumbling. That's right, I'm gonna stand. I'm so confident I'm gonna stand and shoot you. Oh, that was an awful shot. Look at Rocky go! Hit him with the right hook. Get him stumbling. Off balance. Hold on, wait. I I wanna I wanna turn. Game over, folks. Aw, oh, don't do me like that. Oh, we didn't even get to admire our kill. <laughs> Rocky's like, my time here is done. My job is complete. 1500, my man Veleth. Finally, a good paying job out here.
Now I cut a ton of it out, but of course it took some grinding to start gaining some serious power. Once you get into a nice loop though, you'll have a pretty good understanding of No Man's Land, the enemies, their attacks, and I can't lie. This was some of the most satisfying and rewarding progression I've gotten out of a Skyrim run in ages. Every enchantment and every perk felt so crucial to keeping myself alive. It's weird, because in a normal Skyrim playthrough, owning a house is barely an achievement. The game just launches property at the player's face at a pace that's really hard to even comprehend. Like, just here, you have a house, here, you have a house. What about a hotel? A hostel? Motel? What do you want? But here, it feels like it's going to be a massive reward, and I'm really looking forward to it. With all my buffs and enchantments, I was essentially immune to fire damage, so no man's Land, which was terrifying at first, is now all but completely conquered. After some time had passed, I ran into an encounter that didn't seem that important in the moment, but much later set off a light bulb in my head. Who are you? Why? Why? Hey, God, I just got here. Wood Elf, you're, you're not even diseased or afflicted? I mean, he's, he's afflicted with bad hands. Now this is a real boxing match. Who will win, Wood Elf or literal spawn of mountain? Come on, Dwayne, you got him on the ropes. There you go, another stun. Push, push the offensive, Dwayne. Now, if you can overlook the stupidity of charging a fully kitted super soldier with nothing but hands, there's something to take from this. We've spent this entire run preparing for and essentially immunizing ourselves against just one type of damage, that being fire. One aspect of this run that makes it difficult is the inability to take very many physical, that's melee, hits without being severely injured or completely losing the run. You'll have to always keep your distance in fights, which means you are rarely, if ever, gaining armor XP. We've talked about you stealing my kills. I need you to stop. I'll let you fill in the blanks on how we could possibly exploit a low damage dealing melee opponent because the investment you just made a little bit ago with this shady guy hitting rocks is ready for its first excavation. Oh, it's you. Why is he so upset at me? I'm, I'm your angel investor. Don't give me attitude, Rayless. What the hell's going on? This isn't good. Before I could blink, all the miners were dead. And I was next in line. This is what I get, skimping on me. Okay, if I shoot slightly to the left, I won't hit my guy. I can't shoot between his legs, though. All right, he's down. Hey, Dwayne, I need to ask you nicely to please get out of oh don't attack me restless look at me go i don't even i don't even need a companion i'm gonna solo this whole dlc mirak is fucked well perhaps there's some hope for us yet two thousand now i have to go recruit some more miners i think i am getting scammed this is just the elder scrolls version of uh, the ftx guy Thank right you, now kind. And I'm just missing my shots like an idiot. There we go, two down. One left, but he's a tough one. Look at Rocky go! He's got a healing spell. This guy is being a floppy wiener. I mean, this is floppy wiener behavior. So is the Reekling fused to the boar that it's riding? Because when one of them dies, they both die. Arrow coming in. Nice toss, little man. At this point, I was nearing level 30 and increasingly confident in my ability to survive in the northern portion of the map. My archery skill was closing in on 90, and it was a really good visual change from No Man's Land. Remember the bandits we accidentally attacked, and then accidentally committed genocide with? I guess according to some ritual they have, they need to choose a new leader, so once you're comfortable going up north, resolve this when you're able to. Wait, are you friendly? Oh, I almost attacked her again. I'm sorry, we keep having the same misunderstanding, ma'am. I, I know, I know. Are you ready to go inside? I mean, I, I'm ready, but I'm scared. Rothmund's axe is in there with me. Anyone who attempts to take hold of it has their spirit judged by Rothmund himself. My spirit will be judged? I'm fucked. Got anything you want to add to this, Dwayne? <laughs> Since he's already deemed me worthy, it will just be a matter of him remembering why he blessed me before. This is not, yeah, I don't want to get vibe checked by a ghost. Once inside, Bujold calls upon her boss to perform her quarterly review. Brace yourself to experience one of the most underwhelming godlike voices ever. You seek my blessing for the leadership of Thirsk Hall? Ah, he's nothing special, he's just a regular old Nord. But I have always watched and know that it was your softness that led to your own exile. <laughs> you allowed your fellow warriors to grow weak 
the leadership is not mine? Oh, give it to me! No. Nor is there any among you fit to serve. No matter what Rothman says, we need a leader. And I'm still the best person for that. You dare disobey Hrothman's wishes? Look what's happened to us so far under his watchful eye. It's time to begin a new tradition for Thursk, and I'm going to do that. All I need is for you to back me up. Just don't tell anyone else what you heard here. Hrothman said we need strong leadership, and lying and weaseling my way out of this honor duel for leadership. That would be soft. I need to be strong. I was afraid you might say that. Well? Ooh, you forgot about my main strategy, running away. Whoa, that's close. Hey, notice how your name says unworthy? It's because it's true. Oh, this is how a real man fights. <laughs> this is how a real warrior takes care of problems. Hrothman, look, I'm doing it. Wow, and you wanted to be the leader, Bujold. <sighs> Embarrassing. He's got to be impressed with our display. But that's enough Nordic politics for now. Your second investment at the excavation has paid off, with every single laborer getting killed once again. Volume 19, Volume 21, you filled out 21 notebooks? Please tell me you're at least done with the whole excavation if you had time to fill out 21 notebooks. Otherwise, that means we're just exploiting the labor of these miners. At least six of the diggers are dead. Six? You are in charge of these people. All right, now let's be careful. We can, okay, we can already see the Draugr Death Lord. So let's get the bow out. Okay, apparently they heard that. Or they're prepared to flank. What are we doing right now? What we're doing right now is... The Skyrim Solstein DLC, get the fuck. All right, this is bad. He's not leaving me alone. Let's get the Necklace of Frost. Just to be safe, I'm gonna take a healing potion now. Shit, that thing's slowing me down. Why is, why is the Frost Atronach in the ground? Our traps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No! The soul gem of death. I finally found one. Literally, the most dangerous enemy in all of Skyrim is those fucking soul gem traps. Oh! Oh my. F We're alive. We're alive. Yeah, I found all your missing employees. Spoiler alert, they're dead. Well, at least we can get back to work. While you continue to sink money into what's turning into one of the biggest OSHA violations of all time, keep challenging yourself with dungeons and enemies around the map. Let's get our frost armor on. At least just our necklace. This is bad. This spike is gonna hit me. I've got no choice. Can't avoid it. Unless I can, because I'm a legend and I know how to dodge everything. Eyes in the back of my head, strategy all over my face. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe avoid these guys here if you can't defend against physical damage well. Hey, that's a callback to this moment. I bet it won't play a larger role in the store. Clear out the Draugr underneath Ravenrock for a sweet laser sword. Push through this dungeon up here to get the ability to create and throw um, exploding spider bombs. Anything to get you that combat experience needed to take on the most important missions in this run up until this point. The Ulan family of House Lalu. A rival great house has placed a death mark on the Chancellor's head. Ah, that's right. You want to make an impact on the island of Solstheim? Well, it's easier to do as a property owner. They seek revenge for the execution of one of their own. I just want the house. I don't care about your political conspiracy, or who's getting murdered, or who your rivals are, or... That's kind of it, but I don't care about any of that stuff. I just want the house. After some brief investigation, you'll catch the traitor red-handed, committing the heinous act of honoring the dead. For shame. You're lying. You're from House Halalu. We should just jump right into the accusations. That's what a good investigator does. What kind of nonsense is that? You've caught them in the act. Report back to your boss and then investigate the house you've already been using for enchanting this entire playthrough. You're a friend of the family, so I really doubt that they'd care them. Hey, oh, how are ya? Don't be angry at me. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to kill you to death. Oh my god, is this a boss battle? Back the hell up, Tillisu. Not even a real Dunmer. Fraud. After you've heroically broken into the house that's soon to be yours and killed its owners, Adril has one more quest for you to complete before you can finally call yourself a property owner in Ravenrock. Keen-eyed members of the audience have noticed the timestamp that this video currently has versus how much time is left in the video. And given how much content I haven't covered on this island, I guess I'll just let it play out. Morag Tong, assassin. My Dramora Lord's about to give you his Morag Schlong. That's right, easy. Klunko does not respect assassins. Some assassins you are. These guys suck.
Oh, that, that might be me. <laughs> if they're all just shooting flames, that'd be no big deal. But these ones have swords and arrows and uh, possibly traps. Oh, this place is going to be full of traps. Oh, man. I did not want to take that hit there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm taking multiple hits from this guy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was it. I mean, that, that was almost the run. Oh, come on. Hey, come on. That, that, that was mine. All right, three targets. This is bad. I just have to put out whatever damage I can. Look at him go. Klunka was a madman. I don't know where this is coming from, Klunko, but I like this version of you. Just a couple of pressure plates. I can dodge these. Are there any enemies around here? Oh man, this would be such a miserable way to end it. One at a time. Hold on, buddy. Let me get a shot off on him. I don't care if I'm supposed to talk to him first. We're going to take the sneak attack bonus. Oh my god, he's doing a spinning power attack. I got to avoid that archer in the background. Although the archer... Okay, the archer's targeting me. That's bad. Come on, Klunko, you got this. I can keep dodging the arrows from the back shots. Watch out, watch out. We're getting pushed into the traps. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Klunko, stay alive. How are you going to heal yourself, you coward? Whoa, no! I knew it was my Achilles heel. I knew it would end up costing me. And just as quickly as I lost the first two characters, I let my Twitch chat down, I let myself down, but most importantly, I let Turkey Stick down. I, I completely blew it. I noticed, I noticed at the, literally the, the last second possible, I noticed that my health was really, really low. I've never actually felt pure disappointment while attempting a challenge, but after over 20 hours on this character going flawlessly, to lose so quickly like that to something I knew was a weakness, this one really, really hurt. But I'll be back, Solstheim. You may have bested Turkey Stick in battle today, but Turkey Stick 2? He's not gonna go down lightly. Or he'll at least get to Apocrypha. Jesus, I really made like no actual progress in this run.